I want you to do a test before I go any further. Just breathe. Where do you feel it rising? Do you feel it rising in your chest? Or lower down in your abdomen, in your diaphragm? So just breathe in and out. And if your chest is moving up and down, like all of our chests move up and down, which isn't the right way to breathe because that is just using the top portion of our lungs. And it engages the neck muscle instead of your diaphragm, which aids you to breathe. So you overworking your scalene muscles, which is this muscle just behind the sternocleidomastoid mastoid muscle, which is this big muscle in your neck. Now those little scalene muscles pull up basically and compensate for what your diaphragm should be doing. So if your muscles fatigue quickly, if you don't have energy, if you wake up and you're tired and you do a little bit of exercise and the lactic acid builds up very quickly, it's usually because you're not breathing and not getting enough oxygen in your body. So day-to-day -day living, we're all sitting at a desk compressing our diaphragm and we tend to use our chest to breathe in and out. So what you need to practice is diaphragm breathing, which basically uses the diaphragm, which is the natural breathing mechanics. And if you look at a baby, you always see that little tummy is rising and falling. It's because that's how we should be breathing. So what you need to do, you need to practice this every day because your body is now adapted and now your neck and your shoulders and everything takes strain because of how you're sitting in your bad posture, which goes into other aspects and other problems. So as a base for anybody with an injury, without an injury, this is like a prehab to anything because usually we get an injury and then we want to fix it at a rehab. So do this as a prehab um, camp and you won't have any injuries. So what I do, what's best to work on your breathing, lay on the floor, just relax, get into a comfortable position and put one hand up here on your chest and one hand on your diaphragm, a little bit lower. And you don't want this top hand to move. You want to breathe and you just want your diaphragm to move in and out. And you'll see that you have to think about it at first because you tend to just inflate the top of your chest all the time. Work on that and breathe slowly and deeply and calmly. Four seconds breath, breathing in, hold it for four seconds and four seconds out. And slowly train your body. Uh, when you first start, you might feel like a little sudden rush of uh, lightheadedness because your body is not used to all that oxygen. It sounds so silly, but it's a huge benefit for your body. So if you can practice diaphragmic breathing, it's going to get you through a lot of situations if you suffer with anxiety when i was having bad anxiety attacks this really helped me just to slow your heart rate down to fill your your body with oxygen and get everything working properly because that's all what it's about and uh that's it